They trailed by one at halftime. The second half, it was all Utah. For the Wizards, a disappointing loss, 123 to 98. I think anytime you're on the road, it's just, it's your group, that's it. You know, it's kind of that us against the world mentality. And I'm hoping that if we pull together and find a way to attack these road games with the right mindset. We have some tough opponents, there's no doubt. But we've played against um, you know, high-level opponents and we played well. So there's no excuse for us not to uh, approach it that way. This month has been you know, a grind. It's life in the NBA. Nobody cares, nobody's feeling sorry for us. So we've got to find a way to pull it together and uh, right the ship. When the schedule was first unveiled and you saw the Denver game, what was your reaction to seeing that? Well, the game itself is the same. You know, obviously you're preparing for a very, really good team, a unique player. So th there's some angst there, but, you know, the opportunity to go back to a place I spent a lot of time and cultivated lifelong relationships with a lot of people, you know, with that organization in, in that city. Peter, what's up? It's a place really, you know, my kids have called home. They were so young when we moved there, that's really all they've known. So it, it'll be special in that regard. You know, have some old neighbors come to the game, but you know, as far as the game itself, it doesn't have any more magnitude other than we're playing a really good team and we've got to find a way to start this trip off the right way. No! <laughs> I don't know if that was a uh, good natured. I think he was trying to take me out. Uh, no, it's good to see him. We still text back and forth. Good to see him in person. Glad he's doing well. Hopefully he has a terrible night tonight. But you know, it's uh, a lot of people. You know, this was this was home for six years, so it's a homecoming of sorts. But uh, uh, still got a job to do. You kind of had an atypical journey to becoming an NBA coach. You started as an intern with the Wizards. Well, it was a very interesting experience, actually. I was going to take a summer, intern, go back to grad school. It was kind of a curveball. If you're going to do an internship, you have to learn the entire business. So I interned in every department, marketing, sales, PR, the last one being in basketball. But it just gave me a ground level view of the business behind the business and what it takes to make what we do now look easy. You know, each step, uh, there were added responsibilities. You're taking another step forward from third assistant to second assistant uh, to lead assistant to associate head coach. All those, you know, the steps kind of help prepare you for that next seat, you know, a larger voice, a larger role. But a lot of that is just, you know, the natural progression and growth. When Malone gave you the job in Denver, what was kind of going through your mind then? It gave me the opportunity to not only quarterback the defense, but, uh, you know, basically take it on my own and you know, mold it, make it work, you know, tailor it to our group. We, you know, that conversation happened. There was a little trepidation because the team that had struggled on that end of the floor and all of a sudden you're, you're thrust into that responsibility. But he had taken on a similar role in Cleveland where he had been more offense, transitioned to the defense, and he said, you know what, it's gonna be the best thing for you. You get an opportunity to work both sides of the ball. You're gonna have a voice, and you're gonna have control and command of it. You have to take ownership of it. You know, I think that helped uh, my progression and development as a, close to being a head coach. Wes was such a big part of what we did here for six years and was so deserving of, of leading his own team. What's well, surreal? It's remarkable when you think about it. It's one of 30 in the world. If there's 29 other people right now who could say with conviction they have the same job, same responsibility as I do, the same title. So I don't take that lightly. Let's go! Let's go! It really is an honor that I have the opportunity to do this. I'm entrusted with the, this position and the responsibilities that come with it. All right, keep fighting. I don't care what the score says. I don't care. Keep playing. All right, find a way. Go get him, Jeff! Go get him, Jeff! Oh! You'll be right in this spot. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. We can't waste time. You know, I think it's important that uh, these guys understand that we got to get connected and pull in the same direction. I think we have the opportunity to do something really special. That will do it. A six-point loss for the Wizards, 113 to 107. Thank you. Happy holidays, man. You too. You too. Right, West. Hey, be good. Be good. I miss you guys, man. Be good.
Wes. Thanks, brother. Bye. Hey, it's Denny Avdia here. We got this uh, 2K trailer over here to make my uh, face look better on the game. We got tons of cameras inside. It's gonna scan my face and make it look better. Coach, How welcome. You? How Good are you? Fine, thanks. You know, it's funny, like my whole life, I couldn't wait to see myself in 2K. And there, is that me over there? That looks like you, yeah, come on. Hopefully it's gonna look good, so I'm excited. Have you seen what you look like in the game right now? So this is close. <laughs> That's pretty scary. Yeah, I mean, you did it as close as possible. You just don't have my haircut in the game. That's it. Yeah, that's the whole reason we built this trailer, was just to make all this really kick up a lot more detail in the face. We're doing improved lighting, so that's all cross. We're really proud of how it's coming together. The flash caught me on guard. <laughs> I need to be a 2K model for the rest of my life. And if you were waiting to see what it all looked like. I'm not sure if I want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they keep in my hair the way it is. <laughs> That's dope, though. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Hopefully they're going to get my face right like it needs to be, and I had a lot of fun today. Shout out to 2K. With any road trip, the most important game is the next game. We can't look too far down the line and worry about two games out. Let's take care of our business, play our brand of basketball, and I think things will work out in our favor. Let's get back to us, man. We got to find it. Ain't nobody going to feel sorry for us. Ain't nobody going to wait on us. We got to do this tonight. Come on, let's do it. Here we go. Win. One, two, three. Win. Tonight from Salt Lake City, the Wizards take on the Jazz for the second time in a week, trying to avenge last Saturday's loss. The focus has to be on that one goal, and that's the next game in front of us. Neto cuts to his left, probes, now off one foot, fades left lane and scores! Neto has been that pop that was needed off the bench. Beal lobbing it up, Gafford throwing it down with one hand. Beal, left elbow, goal slam! Beal with a monster slam. Follow slam by Gobert, we have a two point game with 34 seconds left. Neto gets it and saves it, now KCP has it. He puts up the three as the shot clock expires! Shot by KCP! He has given the Wizards a five-point lead, 108-103. And the Wizards are going to win it on the road against Utah. Uh -oh. no! yeah. We weather the storm, you know, knowing that they're going to make a run. You know, keep playing the right way, even when it doesn't necessarily go as we planned. You know, I'm proud of them because everyone to a man stepped up.